Well, happy Independence Day. Amen? I'm glad that we're in God's house to celebrate our independence as a nation. But more importantly, I'm glad today it just reminds me that I'm in my, my independence from the bondage of sin. And I'm thankful for Jesus, and I'm thankful for the debt that he paid for me on Calvary. But it's because of him that we're even able to be a country. It's because of him that we exist. So I want us to all stand today. I want us to pledge allegiance to the American flag first, then the Christian flag, and then to God's word. And the words will be on the screen for you there. So attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Now let's turn to the Christian flag over here. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. And then I want us to pledge allegiance to God's word. Uh, The last few months, God's Word has become precious to me. I've learned more about studying God's Word, and I'm so thankful for that. And it's become so precious to me what it says. Not just what it says on the sheets, but what it says when you really learn how to study. And uh, Brother Tony, I'm, I'm thankful that God sent you your, our, if for no other reason, to teach me how to study God's Word. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp to my feet, a light unto my path, and will hide its words in my heart. I might not sin against God. Amen. You may let's all stand together and sing. This land is your land. I was about to let you sit down, but no, y'all gonna stand up the land.
that shall never call retreat. He is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant at my feet. Our God is marching on. And glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. His truth is marching on. Then I want us to sing How Great Thou Art here. This is. Uh, I think uh, appropriate today for what we're celebrating. We couldn't even be here. We couldn't even be a country without God, without Jesus blessing us. And I just am thankful to be an American, but more importantly, I'm thankful to be a Christian this morning. And I'm thankful for my, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this morning. So. May be seated.
Take just a minute and just tell you guys we had uh, we had one, had a couple of players that was going to be with us today that have had some physical ailments with in-laws and themselves, but uh, I wanted to tell you these guys are tremendous guys not only because of their talent but uh, their characters. I know each one of them as a as a person away from playing music, and their character speaks more to me than their music ability. And I, I want to tell you who they are real quick so you can speak to them after church. This is Andy Seabolt that works for Sullivan County Sheriff's Department, Scott Christian, Dwayne Dingus. Some of y'all will remember Marcus uh, Smith from over in Gate City. He helped us out last year a little bit. Danny Whited and our own Bill Dunham. So give these guys a great big hand. Marcus, a chance here. Tony, this will be our last song, and then we'll get some things out of the way. We'll be ready to hear from what God has for us. As many of you all may know, I'm going to be a papa. And uh, 
Shelby said that I was breaking all the rules, so I thought I'd say it before she did. So, But I'm thankful, and I, I hope that the Lord can use this. Thank you, men, but I'm anxious to hear from God, so I hope this will get our hearts prepared for worship. Just one word from his voice and his 